Georgia, well played tonight. After the, the recent results before the break, that was just what the team wanted, wasn't it, tonight? Yeah, definitely. I mean, before the break, we didn't have the results we, we wanted, um, but that's what made us come out tonight, give everything, and, yeah, we're really happy to get the result. It's a case of getting the first goal, wasn't it? As soon as you got the first goal, I know the equaliser from there, but the, the team just seemed to relax from there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, every goal that goes in, we say, look, nil-nil, start again. So I think, yeah, definitely the, f the early first goal was, was what we needed. Um, then when we got two, I knew we were going to get a lot more, so... Is it fair to say that the team's just a little bit more positive, a little bit, a little bit more direct in its play tonight? Yeah, 100%. I mean, the last couple of weeks in training has been excellent. The intensity has been brilliant. And definitely, I mean, as I said, um, at the end of the break, we weren't getting the results we wanted and that's made us push on to, to get results now. So, yeah, positive start and hopefully we can carry on. What a debut for Claire Emsley. Two great goals and, and she played really well all game, didn't she? Yeah, I mean, she came in a few weeks ago, settled in brilliant, been training and she's a really good player, really, really good aspect to the team. Um, and tonight, obviously, she showed her, her how well she is. She scored two and she re had a really good start. And the youngsters who came in as well did really well, didn't they? Flo Allen, a Poppy Wilson when she came on and Katie Jones at the back. Definitely. I mean, they're, they're so young. I can remember when I was in it, that age. Come in, make my debut. I mean, it's, it's scary. But no, they, they came in, started, played 90 minutes, um, gave it their all and they, they played a really good game. I was just going to say, you're a seasoned veteran now, aren't you? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a, our team is so young. So I, I'm one of the oldest now, but it is real young having a young team. Um, and obviously we've got some experienced players as well, which, which helps. Because there is a good balance, so it's really good. And especially when uh, Lauren went off as well, you, you went up the scale. <laughs> no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> right, so from here, obviously, it's on to Tuesday night now. A really big game against Villa. They gave you a really tough match here, so you probably expect the same again up there. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're in for recovery tomorrow, so recovery um, all weekend. Then back in, training. Got training Monday, and yeah, all prepare for Tuesday night. And how are you enjoying that role in midfield now, getting forward, getting shots in? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's really good, obviously, playing with Jodie Brett in there. Um, we play really well together and, yeah, hopefully get a goal towards the end of the season sometime. <laughs> must be nice to play alongside Chloe Arthur, though, as well. She's a really class player at this level, isn't she? Yeah, I mean, um, us three in there, we've been playing and we know how each other play, so it is really good having Chloe there. She's a really good attacking player. Um, her, her shots on target are really good. Um, so, yeah, we've got a really good bond in there and we play really well together with each other so. so all smiles again after the last few games definitely yeah i'm sure the change will be buzzing but that's not the end of it obviously it's only the first game before the break so if we can carry that now towards the end it'll be really good laura all in all did you think that was a fair reflection the score today i think uh the first half for us uh, the last 15 minutes of the first half was a bit bad for us um i mean obviously we got it over it but we did go in at half time we reflected on it and we knew what we had to do to stop it thankfully we did and we can uh, move on positive positively for the next game so yeah was it a bit frustrating that you just got yourself back into the game with a goal you almost equalized the goalkeeper made a good double save at, at 2-1 it was just that spell before half time as you said yeah, of course. It is frustrating, as any any player would say, on the losing uh, team. But I know, like I said, it's something that we've got to reflect on, um, and we've got to take that frustration and take it positively, and know that we do have to change that, and we can't let that happen in the next game. So yeah, we'll uh, forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> the second half, though, it was a lot more positive, wasn't it? Wasn't it? They didn't have very many attempts on goal, and. Yeah and you'll look dangerous going forward, especially Amy. Yeah, I think uh, what we've got to realise is we do have a young team. There is a lot of experience that we do need to gain. Obviously, me being new myself, I'm still adapting. Um, players are still adapting to me. So, um, I mean, we're, we're looking forward to the next games, obviously, to get thrown back in against Bristol, are a great side with great players. I know a few of them myself. So we knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the next one, yeah. Is that a little strange marking Midi Faro tonight, seeing as you know her so well? Uh, yeah, but, it, you know, it's great, it's great to see her just come on. She's a great player and, um, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see she's doing well. But, you know, obviously, <laughs> I don't want to do too well, but, yeah. I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> but as for yourself, you, you, as you said, you've moved here to get first team football yeah. and as a player at Oxford. How have you been finding it so far? Oh, do you know, the, the girls and the staff are great. Uh, as soon as uh, me and I, I also come with Jenna Leg from Chelsea as mm. well. Um, that we've adapted brilliantly um, the environment that we train in and you know every all the facilities we get are brilliant they are first class and like I said the girls have been really good with us I mean now it's just obviously progressing um, the football side of things but initially and how they've welcomed us has been brilliant yeah can't ask anymore 
It shouldn't be forgotten that he did, the team did win their last three games before the break. I suppose, in many ways, the break came at the wrong time for the team. Yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> obviously, you don't really want to break when you're on a roll, but um, it's something that's happened, and we'll just work on from that. So we'll, we'll just got a point to prove next game. And next game is a nice, easy one. Yeovil at home, the league leaders. But then again, it is another good test for the team, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It is a good test. And I mean, that's, all, that's what we want. We do want the test. And the only way we are going to get better as a team is against, against the harder teams. And, you know, there's nothing, there's no better feeling than getting a result against a better team. So we're, we're all looking forward to it already. So heads up, next game. <laughs> and how much are you looking forward to your home debut? Oh, I am very looking forward <laughs> to that. I, I've had a few uh, fans... Uh, tweeting me already so uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to meeting and knowing a bit more about Oxford and mm. the behind scenes so yeah.